happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm excited as you all can see from the title of the video i finally have box number two of my your nail lab um monthly subscription box so this is the may box this is the may unboxing so let's hop right on in and see what goodies we got here is my subscription box here i am going to go ahead and just break the seal here and see what's inside Okay. All right. So y'all know I really like the packaging on this. It says, oh, let me zoom out a little bit. It says your nail lab in a box. And I really like this little touch where they say, hey, babe, like that's cute. <laughs> babe is what I call my babe, my honey, my boop boop. So yeah, let's hop on in and see what we got here. Okay. Not looking like as much as it was last month, but let's let's see what we let's see what we got going on here. So the first thing we got is a little bit of bling. Y'all know me. I love my bling. My sets are never complete unless I have a little bling in my life. So I am happy that they included some rhinestones because I really can never get enough of them. So let's open this on up here. Okay. So these are some really cute uh, rhinestones they look like they're clear with like a blue iridescent shift to them I don't know that I have any like this in my collection I have some that are like clear like this but I don't think they have the blue shift to them and I do like the fact that they come with the different sizes so this is what the other side looks like here okay so yeah these are actually really pretty I like that yeah, so these are the other ones that I have. Um, I didn't get these from a card. I actually ordered these from Shein. And I thought these were similar to the ones I just showed, but they're not. So, okay. So I got some blue shift ones in my collection. So that's nice. Um, we also have rhinestone decor. Okay. So let's see what this is. Some more bling. Okay, we can never have enough bling. So let's see what we got here. Okay. Ooh, okay, cool. So it comes with, all right, I like the packaging on this stuff too. It's like really cute and really simple. Um, so yeah, I guess this is a wax pencil. I actually have never used wax pencils like this before. I'm kind of curious to see like how good they work. So let's just see if it actually works. Oh, it does. All right, cool. All right, I'm not mad at that. So I got another wax pencil here. That's always useful. And then it came with some clear rhinestones. I do have a plethora of these already. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess you can never have too many of them. So we got some clear rhinestones here. That's nice. Ooh, look at this box here. Okay. So this is a really cool um, concoction of things here. So these rhinestones here, I mean, I'm sorry, these embellishment here, I do have these in my collection already. I do have pearls in my collection already, but I like the fact. Let's get this open here. I like the fact that they have like actual seashells in here. Like I don't have anything like that. And they got two different kinds of them. They have these really cool blue starfish. I've never seen those before. Um, I guess these are like pebbles and rocks. Um, I like this kind of shattered shell here. And then these are like some rhinestones that have like a purplish blue iridescent shift to them along with some pearls that have that same type of shift. So it's looking like I'm getting like a like a beach vibe, you know, summer vacation vibes from this um, particular little box here. So that's really cute. Um, we also have, wow, oh, these are pretty. Okay, I don't know what this is. Let's see. Wow, these are absolutely stunning. Look at these. These are some really beautiful rhinestones, you guys. I really like these a lot. Wow, these are stunning. Holy smokes. Are these are these considered like caviar? Are these considered like the pixie pixie crystals? If so, I don't have any of these in my collection. These are stunning, you guys. Let's, let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look. These are stunning. Let's see here. Wow, I think these are considered pixie. 
I think these are considered pixie crystals. These are stunning. They're so small and tiny. Yeah, I like these. Okay. Well, these would be fun to play around with. Okay. So we have that. Yeah, I really like these a lot. And then next we have, it looks like a gel polish here. It's interesting it comes sealed, so that's pretty cool. And then we have a glitter top coat. So let's take a look at this. Ooh, that's pretty. It's like a glitter that has like uh, chunky pieces and like kind of like the confetti pieces also with like some finer glitters in there so that's nice and this is a 10 ml bottle I really do like this packaging though it's really cute kind of lumps looking and then let's look at this blue polish here okay this is an 8 ml bottle and ooh, that's a pretty blue wow that's a stunning blue actually that's very beautiful I do have a blue similar to this in my collection I have um, a blue from Sally Hansen that kind of reminds me of this. But this is really stunning. Let me see if I can grab that blue and compare it for you guys. So this is a blue right here that I have from Sally Hansen. It's called Blue My Mind. And that is what this looks like here. Sorry, it's been a while since I've used it. And that's what this looks like here. So this blue looks pretty similar to that actually. Let's see. This one's a little bit more richer and of a better consistency though. And this one's of a thinner consistency, but you know, they're, they're kind of similar in a sense. So yeah, I like the blue though. It's really cute, really cute. Okay. And then we also have here, it looks like a poly gel. That's a 30 ml. It's in the colors Bloom, as well as in the color Ibiza. Ibiza. So it looks like a blue and like a pink here. So I'm going to go ahead and move this box out the way. Really do love the box. I'll be using this for something else in the future. And so yeah y'all, let's get into swatching the items that came here. So I'm going to swatch that glitter top coat, the gel polish, and these two poly gels. Um, so let's see here. Again, I do like that when McCart sends their poly gels, they have them bubble wrapped. That's just a nice touch to ensure protection during shipping. I'm gonna go ahead and start with swatching the gel polishes. I do have my swatch sticks here and ready to go. So I'm gonna go in first with that um, glitter top coat here. Just give you guys an idea of what this looks like here. Okay, I mean, it's pretty. It's a little underwhelming though, but it's cute. That's cute. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. And while that's curing, I'm gonna get into this blue polish, which looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah, this is a really beautiful blue though. It has like some micro glitters in it. Okay, yeah, that's nice. That's pretty though. It looks kind of on the sheer side though. that's what that looks like after one coat I'm gonna cure that and then I am gonna go ahead and swatch the bitza on camera here with you guys and then I'll swatch the other one off camera so this is what the abitza looks like okay cute. and I do really like the consistency of the McCart poly gels I feel like they're very stiff which is a consistency that I actually really enjoy working with they're really stiff which is a consistency that I really enjoy working with okay yeah and it's really easy to just mold and move the product where you want it to go so I'm gonna go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds very pretty. That's a really pretty blue though. Okay. Now lastly, I'm going to go in with this color Bloom here, which looks like a really nice soft pink color here. Actually, it's more of an opaque pink. That's really pretty. Um, <clears throat> this consistency feels a little bit looser than that glitter. 
actually. Yeah, it's a little bit more sticky. <laughs> Which is okay. Maybe I just didn't have enough alcohol. Yeah, the consistency feels different on this one. It feels a lot looser. Let me go ahead and cure that. All right, you guys, so this is what all of the colors look like swashed here. Okay. All right, you guys, so this is what all of the colors are looking like swatched. Um, so starting from the right here, okay, we have, here we have the Bloom Poly Gel color, okay, and then here we have Ibiza, I believe that's how it's pronounced, but it's this really pretty glitter poly gel color. And then here, which is frosty, I didn't even realize this, but it's a thermal changing poly gel. I mean, it's a thermal, ch uh, it's a thermal changing gel polish, which is really cool. Um, and then we have that glitter top coat, which I'll be honest is a bit underwhelming. Um, so I'm gonna actually show you all how this thermal changes again. I'm gonna put it underneath the lamp. Oh yeah, it actually turns like this white color. So, and even on the bottle, this is what it looks like in the bottle, okay? And then this is what it looks like after it's been thermal changed. And actually, I thought something was going on there because I was like, man, this blue is looking really sheer. Like, it's not really all that opaque. So, I see why now it's because it's a thermal changing. Um, it's thermal changing. So, yeah, y'all. Um, hmm. All right, you guys. So, this is everything that came in the May Your Nail Lab in a box subscription. And yeah, I mean, I like everything that came, I'll be honest. Like everything that came was kind of cool and different. Looks like they were going for like a beach, you know, seaside kind of theme here. But to be honest, I do think that I probably could have recreated this box for a little bit less. I'm slightly underwhelmed with this month box, but I do like everything that came though. I know that the McCart Poly Gels in general, they run about $15 a piece. Um, you know, these rhinestones and such though, this is stuff that I can find maybe on Shein or Amazon. Um, for pretty inexpensive, like two bucks, every, you know, less than five bucks, right? Um, I was happy to have these pixie crystals. That was something different for me. I'm not, I don't have any pixie crystals in my collection. So, I mean, I'm not mad at the box because honestly, these colors are colors that I probably wouldn't have went out of my way to purchase, but I am glad that I have in my collection. So, um, we'll see how next month box goes. You know, if I like next month's box, I'll keep it. If I don't like next month's box, I'll probably just pause it for a little bit. And then maybe what I'll do is, you know, as I see unboxings, maybe I'll I'll just pop in and either get that month's box and then hop out you know things like that but we'll see how I you know feel about it as we move forward so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video um I do apologize I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a set um with these items right here on the spot I hope you all enjoyed this unboxing um so that you all can get an idea of what was included in the May subscription box again it wasn't bad um I do like everything that was included I just feel like I maybe could have recreated it for a little bit cheaper um but overall I know McCart's products are high quality quality and good quality so I'm not mad at the box. I do also have full tutorials on the looks that I am wearing here. Um, this was actually um, gel and builder gel in a tube that I used to create this look with some foil flakes and then over here is um, a matte French tip with some butterflies that I created using nail addict slash nail reserve um, gel polishes. I'll leave um, links to those videos linked down in the description box but yeah I hope you all enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you all think if you all are subscribed to the McCart uh, Your Nail Love in the Box subscription. What do you all think about this month's box? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, how long have you guys, for those who do have it, how long have you had the subscription box? I'm just kind of curious. Um, are you all normally satisfied every month? You know, I'd be curious to know your thoughts down in the comments. But anywho, I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And yeah, if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!